Okay, so today we're going to do a quick tutorial on setting up an IDE for Java. Um, say you recently installed the JDK and you now need a, an integrated development environment uh, to do your Java programming. And uh, I'm actually going to work with IntelliJ's uh, IDEA IDE, which I think is fantastic. I like all of their products. I've uninstalled it from my machine now so that we can show it as a, as a fresh or clean install. I'm going to go to the internet here and just type IntelliJ IDEA. We'll find a download page here. So I'm going to choose the uh, community version here. You can change where you want it to be installed, obviously. There are different installation options here. I'm going to go ahead and associate Java files with this uh, IDE and also going to add it to our, our Windows system path variable in case we want to invoke it from the command shell. Okay, once that's installed, I'm going to go ahead and execute it here. Either double click on it or you know, find it on your operating system through the start menu or something. And the first time this might be a little slow, but eventually it's going to come up with this projects window. I'm going to select new project. It launches the new project window. And the first thing, you know, there's different types of projects here. Um, I'm sure you can install uh, plugins or wizards that give you different types of projects. You notice there's the project SDK up here. That is referring to the Java JDK that you have installed previously. So you can see I have a couple different versions here. I'm going to select the latest one. I'm going to move on. Um, not from a template necessarily. We'll just make an empty project. I'm going to call this hello world and just put it on my desktop. Now IDEs come with all kinds of features. It may take you months or years uh, to master the IDE in terms of how much stuff it gives you. Uh, some IDEs have been around for 30 years now and gone through all different types of um, variations and different options and looks and that kind of stuff. This demo is supposed to be just very short uh, just to get you up and running. But if you look online, I'm sure there are some videos or tutorials by IntelliJ themselves or maybe from third parties that are stepping through different parts of the IDE and explaining them in detail. So I just want to show you that there's different views here of the project that we're working with. I'm going to keep it in this project view. But I wanted you to see that when I expand this, these folders and these files here are actually akin to what's in your project folder. The folders and the files that you're seeing there are uh, being depicted here in the IDE. Right. So I'm going to go to the source folder here. I'm going to right click on it and add a new Java class, which will create a file for it. I'm going to call it main. And in this main class, I'll add the the standard um, default main function here so we can start our Java program. And within it, I'm going to add a simple print line. Now, the most important thing we're going to do to start uh, a program is we're going to compile and then run it or usually called build and run these days or build and debug. You can see these two menu options up here, build and run, which are gonna be very important. Your hotkeys will probably be different by default. Mine are saved from a previous configuration. You can change all of that in the settings. So you can set the key bindings to whatever you want. And if you're coming from another IDE, they already have configurations from like Xcode or Visual Studio or whatever. So I'm gonna build my project should see a, a build notification. Here you go, a build notification down here. That's an asynchronous process, so I can still work with the IDE while that's happening. You'll see other things happening down here, like uh, indexing or caching of the JDK files, and, and you can check into those. There's all different types of things going on behind the scenes. Uh, the first time you run this IDE, it probably will be a little chunky, depending on your hardware, but over time, as you use it, it'll get faster and faster, usually. Okay, so our build is completed. We had no errors, right? If you did have some errors here, um, those would be indicated. Okay, so we have our, our error window here and you can click on these and they'll bring you to different parts of the code. All right, I'm gonna build that one more time. All right, now I want to go ahead and run or debug my program, but you'll notice 
that uh, by default these are grayed out, right? And you only have the ones with the ellipses after them. And what that's saying is you need to set up a configuration. Uh, you can also see the configuration uh, menu up here. And this is very common in IDEs. Configuration basically defines the different options for executing your program. Because you might want to pass it different uh, arguments in, right, that go into the program, or you might want to set some specific settings for different types of configurations. We're going to go to debug here. We're going to say edit configurations, right? We don't have any here. I'm going to add one, uh, an application configuration. You can see there's a lot of options here, but I'm really only concerned with naming this. So I'm going to say debug main program and the class that is going to be the entry class for this particular program. And I'll type main and it finds it in the default package here. That's the one that we want. All right, I'm gonna apply this. It has the correct JDK that I wanna use. Close this and now you can see I can debug from here. And also I can select the configurations that I've created here. Okay, so let's go ahead and debug. You can also use your hotkeys to do that. And there you go, you have it running, it's, it's doing our printout. If I set a breakpoint, which is something you can do in IDEs, if you look in um, your run or debug um, um, menu here, you can see there are toggle breakpoint options, right? F9 is my hotkey to do that, right? I'm gonna go ahead and debug again, and you'll see that it'll halt the program as it's executing on this particular line. And then I can inspect variables and do different things. I'm going to close this out now. All right. And I just want to show you that uh, next time that you launch uh, IDEA, you're going to see in this project window, it's going to have your, you know, your history of projects here. So you can just go ahead and click on that and it's going to open up um, to the exact same project that you had before. Now, if you move this folder, this will no longer be a valid link. So be careful, you know, just know where you're saving your files and so forth.